In this video, you're going to see how to deploy your Web Studio site to DigitalOcean using Coolify. Coolify is a platform as a service that makes it easy to self host. So we'll use DigitalOcean, but instead of interacting directly with it and having to deal with the deployments and the infrastructure, we'll actually mainly work with Coolify that will handle all of that for us. Coolify has both a cloud plan and you can self host it. We're going to be uh, using the cloud plan for this video. In order to get our Web Studio project from Web Studio to DigitalOcean, we're going to follow these steps. Um, first, make sure that you have a GitHub account, a DigitalOcean account, and the Web Studio CLI installed. I'll have these docs in the video in the description below. All right, first we're going to create a GitHub repository. Then we're going to export our Web Studio project so we get that code, and then we're going to put it into that GitHub repository. Then we're going to create a droplet or a VPS on DigitalOcean. And after we do that, we're going to configure Coolify to use that droplet. So we're going to connect them. And then once they're connected, we're going to do a little bit more configuration on Coolify uh, to get it connected to the GitHub and just to get everything talking together. And then lastly, I'll explain the process for updating your Web Studio project and then doing those deployments. This might seem like a lot, and I know there's a lot of steps here. I just have everything itemized out so much, but really it's just kind of moving stuff around and connecting stuff. So we'll break it down so it doesn't seem so complicated. All right, starting off, we need to create a GitHub repository. I'm not going to do that on camera. I already have one easy enough. So next up, let's export our Web Studio project by going up to the share dialog here, creating a custom link and copying it. Now let's switch over to our terminal and we're going to run Web Studio. And I want to use the current folder. We're going to paste that link that we just got. Now go down to Docker. So this is going to generate um, and we don't need to install dependencies. So this generates our Web Studio project with a Docker file. And now we're good to go. So just commit this and push it up to your GitHub repository. And that will take care of step two and three. Next, let's set up DigitalOcean. Here I have my first project. There's no VPS in there yet. So I'm going to create a droplet, which is a VPS. And we're going to select the region, the image. Let's go with Ubuntu. And let's talk about these server requirements. I'm going to go with the shared CPU and the regular SSD. At a very minimum, let's go with one gig. I tried 512 megabytes and it failed. So really, we should be going with at least two gigs. And if this is like a bigger site, uh, you know, then, then go with some more resources. But I'm going to go with one gig for now. For SSH keys, let's add a new one. So we need to be able to have Coolify interact with this server. I'm going to go over to Coolify, keys and tokens. Add, we'll generate one, and I'm going to name it. Okay, we've got it named. Now I'm going to click continue and copy this public key, and we're going to paste it here. And I might as well give it the same name and add it. Okay, moving along, you can add other options as needed, but I'm going to keep the defaults and click create droplet. This is going to take probably just about a minute, and we'll wait for it to be done. And we're back already. That didn't even take a minute. It provides us an IP address. So let's copy that and let's refer back to our steps. We've set up the DigitalOcean droplet, clicked create and copied the IP address. Let's move on to step five to configure Coolify to use the droplet by first creating a server. You can probably do these in, in different steps. Uh, I think it all just turns out to be the same. And so this is how I did it. Let's create a new server and we're going to paste that IP address here and then click continue. Feel free to make any customizations as you see needed, but these will work for us. Great, and now we're gonna click this validate server and install Docker engine. So we just had a, a raw Ubuntu install on DigitalOcean. Now Coolify is gonna go over there and kind of terraform it to make sure that it's set up for our project. We see that the server is reachable, so that means that that SSH key worked. Coolify was able to interact with our server. And now it's installing Docker, which is going to take a little bit of time. Docker is a pretty big software, so we'll wait for this to finish. OK, that's done. And I can see that the proxy running is green, so we are good to go there. Let's refer back to our documentation, and we should see the green proxy running status. Great. Step six, let's set up a project on Coolify. So we've set up the server. Now we need to set up our project, which is going to interact with our GitHub uh, and kind of connect to the server. So we're going to add a new one. I'll name this Web Studio site demo. And we'll click into here. We're going to add a new resource. 
So the resource is going to be, where is this code coming from? I'm gonna select the private repository because we put it in GitHub. If you have a public repository, it'll be even easier, but just make sure you don't have any secrets in there. So I'm gonna to go to private repository. I've already configured the GitHub app, but it'll just take you through a little dialogue um, that will authenticate it and make sure you select the repository you want it to have access to. And I'm gonna click my GitHub repo here. Okay, I clicked load repository in the build pack. Just change this to Docker file. The code that we exported, that template has a Docker file in it. And this should be good to go. If we're living right, we can click deploy. And now it's gonna take our project and deploy it to our droplet. I'm also going to click show debug logs because it'll just give us a little bit more info and context about what's going on, the progress. So we'll wait a little bit. This should take a, a couple minutes for the deploy to happen. OK, the deployment says finished and success. We're going to scroll back up to the top and go to links here. And if we're living right, we go here and we'll see our site. Navigate some pages here. This is looking really good. The first time the images load, they go through an image optimization pipeline, so they might take a second, but after that, they are uh, cached, so they should load pretty instantly. And there we have it. Our site is now hosted on DigitalOcean using Coolify. And now we might wonder what happens when we make new changes to our Web Studio project. We're in here, we're making changes. What do I do? Well. You're going to do a few things. First, you're going to publish the website. Even though you're not actually using the cloud, it's just necessary to generate the latest build data. Then you're going to run Web Studio Sync, which is going to bring the latest data down to your local machine, and then run Web Studio Build, which is going to take that data and build the app from it, and then push it up to your GitHub repository. Coolify will then take over, run a deployment like we just saw right here, although it'll happen automatically. And then your latest changes will be on DigitalOcean in, you know, about three minutes. And that's how you deploy your Web Studio project to DigitalOcean using Coolify. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.